When you run into hurricanes, um, the first thing you hear about is the sad stories, right, of uh, people that have died, um, the sad story of, uh, you know, people not able to get to work. But for me, being in the roofing business, when there was a lot of people that were out of work, I was able to hire people that had no experience, pay them a good wage, in most cases better than the wages they were previously making wherever they were working at. I am a hands-on owner. I go to the roofs. Many companies are big companies. They might be companies bigger than I. Might be companies that are, might be the same as I. Owners don't show up on the roof. Owners don't socialize with their employees. I do that because I was an employee longer than I was an owner. And I, I understand the separation, a mental separation of an employee and an owner. A guy might have worked on the field a little bit and all of a sudden he opened up his company two years later. He doesn't realize and understand what it is really working for someone. And where you see, wow, look at this guy. He's making, got all this stuff he's buying and I'm working my butt off making the money. You know, that's not, you know, it's true and it's not true because yeah, he is an owner and yeah, he has nice things. And yeah, he works hard for it, but it's his business that he's created uh, without, you know, without thinking that they, he has no stress. He has multiple stress and an employee doesn't see that, right? Also, an owner loses touch to their employees, right? Oh, this guy, how come he couldn't do that much work? If I was out there, I could do this much work, right? So that's... I know what it takes to do work and I know life is not perfect and work is not perfect and things happen, right? So I understand, yeah, is it my job to give a little pressure? Yeah, I, but it's also my job to praise them and what makes me different is I have a communication with my employees. I talk to them, I tell them, you know, and maybe it's for my years of coaching, you know, sports and dealing with people and talk, communicating with people that I know that you can't beat someone up over and over and over again and expect them to produce for you. Because like I said, my employees are the bloodline of my company and I'm aware of it. Trust me, I'm aware of it. And I appreciate every one of them and their family. So that's my aspect as, a, as an owner. I know right now if I need to and I can, I'll get up on the roof and work. I have no problem.